have time for reflection during all this? You obviously did, right? Yes. What uh, were you reflecting on? What were you thinking? Um, at the beginning, a lot of my thoughts went to just looking back and all the people and events that played the role in allowing me to be there because I felt so privileged, you know, being in the station, uh, a place where, you know, only maybe 500 people have ever flown to space out of millions of people on this planet, and only 50 women have ever done it. So I, I was reflecting on how all the dots connected and allowed me to be in space. Your desire brought it about, huh? And my desire bringing it about. And for me, not giving up on the idea, even though you know I have no clue how it will ever happen, but just knowing that it will happen. And then I started thinking about you know what's really important to me in life. and, and uh, what's a priority for me and how I would want to spend the rest of my days because all, all the way through that day I was only thinking this was like my big goal, my big dream and now I've done it so what's next for me and uh, just you know it makes you look at the whole world differently, your relationship with people around you, uh, how you prioritize your life and how you go about living your life and uh, and everything becomes uh, a global project for you. You can't think of this is my country and this is my town and I'm working on this project for my town. Everything I think about is, you know, it has to have a global impact now. I can't think of, you know, something small because, you know, I feel like the whole world is my country. The whole world is my playground now. Did you wonder about the mystery of our existence? I mean, here's this huge, infinite expanse, billions of stars, uh, probably trillions of planetary systems out there. Mm -hmm. We are this one speck of dust mm -hmm. in this huge void, mm -hmm. which is literally almost infinite. Mm -hmm. And on that speck, uh, you have all these life forms, that are, in a sense, totally interconnected. Whether those trees are breathing uh, is very important because we wouldn't breathe if they didn't breathe. Mm -hmm. and they wouldn't breathe if we didn't breathe. Mm -hmm. The statistical odds of just being you <laughs> out of all the infinite permutations and combinations mm -hmm. that could have occurred, so there would be no anusha. Mm -hmm and there would be no intention, and there would be no desire, and you wouldn't be in that. Did it kind of bewilder you a little bit? Oh, absolutely. It's been a question on my mind for many years before this trip, even more so on this journey, and uh, continues to this day. And, uh, you know, the feeling that there must be a reason I'm here. There must be something I'm supposed to do and, and use this experience or, you know, relay this experience. And, uh, and the question of why me? Why is it me who's here and not someone else? I'm sure there are millions of other girls out there who want to be here. So I need to find the reason and understand it better. And this whole interconnectedness uh, even feels stronger when you're there and looking from an outside perspective. Available on CuriosityStream. Watch premium factual shows at CuriosityStream.com.